Warning, this video will ruin your day. It is not only disturbing, but it contains all kinds of cruelty imaginable. Please don't watch this if you have low self-control, and please don't Google any of the suggestions in this video. Any symptoms you have. Trying to figure out what's wrong with you through Google is the quickest way to freak yourself out. One time I had a terrible headache, and Google told me I had a major brain tumor, brain cancer, and a possible broken and fractured skull. Also symptoms of mental illness. I've convinced myself before that I have autism and schizophrenia from reading stuff online when in reality I'm just an anxious person. Cyclopia human, I made the mistake after watching Futurama. One of the characters, Leela, only has one eye. But human Cyclopia is a little birth defect and not the cool sci-fi stuff I expected. They don't always get one eye, it's more like only one socket develops and they try to shove both eyes into it. Technically, both sockets form, they just merge. Your face forms from the right and left halves merging towards the midline. Whatever mechanism tell the face to stop fails in this case, so everything just keeps on merging. I read a lot of embryology textbooks. I will read a section thinking I wonder what happens in that step goes wrong. Then you flip the page, and it shows you. Seriously, do not google it. There was this band from Indonesia a few years back. I don't know if they're still around. They're a hardcore punk band, and they're named after a song called Under 18 by a classic NYC hardcore band called Warzone. A song about shows being all ages and generally inclusive. My friend was over at my place and I played them for him. He decided to Google them for more info. He searched under 18 Indonesian hardcore. On my computer. I'm definitely on a list somewhere because of him. Mr. Hands, it's a video of a guy getting effed to death by a very large horse. To sum it up he got effed, died in the hospital and while investigating cops uncovered an entire bestiality ring that was like the town's best kept secret. The place was like a neighborland ranch. Oh and humane animal intercourse was legal so the only charges pressed were trespassing. They watched hundreds of hours of stored videos from the farm and there was no animal abuse. Just a lot of. Yeah. If I remember correctly, he had suffered an injury which caused him to lose sensations below the waist, and horses giving him the old booty blast made him orgasm. Or something. He has a wiki page and it's worth giving a read. I used to watch gore and shock videos, just for the hell of it and got to the point where I felt nothing from them. Fast forward to 2019, I got curious and watched the mosque shooting video and that one broke the camel's back. I felt more depressed than usual, couldn't sleep for several days and couldn't stop thinking about it. It might sound a little dumb, but I even went on reddit and unsubbed from anything that had negativity or toxicity too often, my mind just couldn't take it for a while. Injuries involving degloving. My daughter, who is an ob slash gyna doctor, managed to deglove a finger a couple of years ago by dropping a heavy door on it. Blood everywhere. Everywhere. We rushed her to A&E and and it got re-gloved. After some more surgery and rehab, she was able to resume her career, including the surgeries that she performs. Fournier gangrene is some horrible condition. The Google images are terrifying. From the cases I've witnessed, it can start from something as simple as a pimple. The problem is, it happens so incredibly fast. The cases I saw go from a little redness to full-blown gangrene in less than a day. Someone replied, do people just ignore it and let it get to the point of blackened and dissolved flesh? I think I would be immediately to my doctor if I saw even a hint of my penis or scrotum beginning to rot or smell. I assume they must smell terrible, judging by the images? Are these folks usually suffering mentally? It would seem likely? Or why wouldn't you seek immediate help? Feel terrible for anyone who has developed this. What a disease. Do not search Google images for this. I have gotten so many messages of regret. Just do not. For your own sanity and peace. Harlequin type ichthyosis is a genetic disorder which results in thickened skin over nearly the entire body at birth. The skin forms large, diamond-shaped plates that are separated by deep cracks. They affect the shape of the eyelids, nose, mouth, and ears, and limit movement of the arms and legs. Restricted movement of the chest can lead to breathing difficulties. These plates fall off over several weeks. Other complications can include premature birth, infection, problems with body temperature, and dehydration. Tukchar Massacre, Dagestan Beheading Massacre Films. Russian soldiers surrendered to extremist forces hoping to become POWs. Unfortunately, 
They were deceived and Chechen commander Umar Edel Sultanov ordered his soldiers to cut the prisoners' throats as revenge for his fallen comrades. You'll get to listen to the cries of young men and their futile efforts to stay alive in these tapes. Blue Waffles. The medical term is bacterial vaginosis. Basically just a bacterial infection of the vagina. Can lead to some rather unpleasant sights and smells. It's not just for vaginas. Some penises have it too. Boy, are the school people in for it when they read my school Chromebook's history. There used to be this subreddit called Enough Internet, which was god awful. There were videos of people dying by chainsaws, toothpicks down pee pee holes, people cutting off arms, it really changed me. Someone replied, yeah, one day I decided to look at the top posts of r slash enough internet, and about the fifth thing I saw was a guy thrown from a train speeding through a station. He was hitting a column and getting cut in half at the waist. That's when I realized that this was pretty tame stuff for the sub and it was only going to get worse. The Google images of necrotizing fasciitis, flesh-eating bacteria, my wife had a patient early on in her career who had this. On his genitals. She had a guy later in her career that the family refused to take off from life support even though it was beyond pointless. He was sedated and unconscious, so at least he wasn't feeling pain. He had sepsis, multiple organ failure, his heart was bad enough to get a transplant, but he was far too sick to get one. He was on ECMO, then an Impala. He was on dialysis. He had fluid around his lungs, so he was intubated on a breathing tube. He was a diabetic who hadn't controlled it. His color was bad. Flesh loses a certain vibrancy when it's getting blood flow. He literally had clumps of skin falling off. Why mention all this? Make your care wishes known. Get it in writing and notarized. If your health network allows it, get it on file. If you have a life alert bracelet like I do, there's a place to upload it there. Don't put your loved ones in that position. Who wants to pull their child, sibling, spouse or other person who's named them their health proxy off of life support? What if the person refuses to give up hope and relies on prayer, healing crystals, essential oils, etc. when you should be moved to hospice or the equipment turned off? Modern medicine fascinates me, but it's terrifying the amount of that tech and care that can be applied to keep someone technically alive. One man two spoons. It's a video of a guy popping his eyeball out with two spoons. There's a video from a family's dash cam as they're driving down the highway. A brick falls off a truck or something and goes through their windshield and hits the wife in the passenger seat. You can't see anything because the gore is all behind the camera, but you can hear the husband's reaction when he realizes that she's dead. The screams are haunting. Blowfly girl. Just don't do it. A girl opens a bag, inside the bag there's tons of maggots plus half rotten meat. She grabs some of the less rotten parts and puts it into her vag gets out of the container and goes home. After that, she locks herself up in her room and lets the maggots inside be there all while she gets off of the sensation. Some days pass and she starts feeling ill, so she grabs a mirror and sees that her vulva is all infected and nasty, with tons of maggots doing their business. She passes out and wakes up in a hospital. And that's where it ends. Bobby yeah. It's the only online video I ever came across that not only unsettled me deeply but made me feel like vomiting for a very long time after. It's some bizarre claymation video that could be passed off as art about a somewhat Tim Burton sequel character's misadventures. It quickly unravels into something disturbing and disgusting with the visceral, surreal feeling of 80s campy FX, but with clay. It was so gross. I didn't even finish it. I saw it maybe six years ago but if it crosses my mind I still wish I hadn't seen it. Not sure if it's a personal thing, but that one sat very badly with me. It's better to watch the people describe it in the documentary than watching the videos themselves. In one lunatic one ice pick, a man has someone strapped to their bed. The man stabs him to death with a spray painted screwdriver he pretends is an ice pick, and cuts his limbs off. If it makes you feel better, a group of people online banded together and managed to track him down and arrest him. There's a lot of pictures and videos in here that are good selections to never Google. So, I'll suggest something different. The transcript of the Toy Box Killer tapes is a highly disturbing read. The full audio was never released to my knowledge. For anyone curious it's the first thing his victims would hear when they woke up strapped to a modified gynecological chair, where he describes in graphic detail everything he's going to do to them over the coming days, weeks, maybe months. Read about the case, but skip the full transcript. There's this audio where a dude gets eaten by a bear. His name is Timothy Treadwell. 
He was filming a documentary with his wife I think, but there was a woman with him. Anyway, yeah, they were filming when they were attacked, I think he was attacked first, and you can hear he and she screaming, and then she is attacked, there wasn't any video, just audio, still crazy. There is a 911 call of a couple whose chimpanzee went berserk and was mauling one of them. That stuff is crazy too. Stacy Wilson bus crime scene, some sick guy dragged her off the bus and decapitated her for no reason. Nikki Katsuris was a young girl who snuck outside and took her dad's car while he was away and drove around a freeway, lost control, and died. The skin on her face came clean off. All there was in the metal mess was a red mass with hair. Petri was a psychotic kid who has accused a friend of cheating, went to his house when his parents weren't around, strangled him with wire and cut him in half with a hacksaw while the kid had regained consciousness. Facial to gloving injuries happen a lot, no particular backstory. Depends on how you lost your face. The Abdulia livestream one is a video where a girl is riding shotgun and records herself, suddenly there's a mess because the car crashed and it's rolling and the like, suddenly she's out the car filming her sister whose forehead is bashed and good. Didn't see the video at full because it's too sad. The sister continued to film nonchalant because I think she was under influence. Ed Gein's furniture with human skins and stuff. Bryce Williams shooting, two reporters in cold blood on a pier, like we're in in bad GTA in real live video. No gore, but it's not the best. I haven't run the gauntlet but I looked into it and according to Reddit, you may find a girl drowning, beheading, three guys one hammer, and more. Body farmer decomposing bodies in a field. Anyone care to shed some light to the shotgun death bath? I've found nothing whatsoever. Just pictures of someone's corpse sitting against the tub inside, with their top of the head completely torn and practically non-existent. Shotguns are insanely powerful guns.